So there's a couple of things that really changed my life when I went on this investigation. The first thing was the gaps, in, um, the gaps which is gut and psychological syndrome. And this lady, she's a scientist, and she had a daughter, or it's a son or daughter, I can't really remember, but with autism. And she managed to address a lot of these autism issues through treating the gut. And so she created a protocol. It's a very strict diet. Is anybody familiar with gaps at all? It's great. It's, yeah, of course, Robin is. <laughs> but, but gaps is, is a very strict protocol, but it really helped me. I followed the gaps diet for for around six months, and it really helped to re, sort of kind of heal and seal that, that gut lining so I could build a good foundation. So GAPS was one. The next one was Nourishing Traditions, and this follows the work. It's by <coughs> Sally Fallon, and it fo follows the work of Dr. Weston Price. Is anybody familiar with Dr. Weston Price? Weston Price, he was a dentist that focused a lot on these indigenous people around the world who went struggling with mainly bone issues and teeth issues and that's his investigation but he's got some solid information about you know, the tribal diets and things like that which I'll tie back to gut health and probiotics pretty soon. Is that the microbiome is, a, is numerous species of bacteria and yeast that live symbiotically with us. Now when I understood this concept it really blew my mind because through our evolution these critters have been part of us all along the way. And the issue is with, I guess, the industrialization of food, with, with, with the advent of antibiotics, not to say antibiotics are a bad thing, but what it's done is we've pretty much turned something that is part of us, it's a symbiotic part of us, it's approximately two to three kilos of mass in the gut. It's huge, it's, a, it's an organ in the gut. And we've turned our attention to thinking that these guys are the bad guys and we indiscriminately kill them off. 